A horse's tail. Does the statement, because we've always done it that way, ring any bells? The US standard railway gauge, that's the distance between the rails, is 4 feet 8.5 inches, which is about 143 centimeters. That's an exceedingly odd number. Why was that gauge used? Well, because that's the way they built them in England, and English expatriates built the US railroads. But why did the English build them like that? Well, because the first rail lines were built by the same people who built the pre-rail tramways. And that's the gauge they used. So, why did they use that gauge then? Well, because the people who built the tramways used the same jigs and tools as they used for building wagons, which is used in wagon spacing. Okay, so why did the wagons have that particular odd wheel spacing? Well, if they tried to use any other spacing, the wagon wheels would break on some of the old long-distance roads in England because it's the spacing of the wheel ruts. So who built those odd rutted roads? Imperial Rome built the first long-distance roads in Europe and England for their legions. The roads have been used ever since. And the ruts in the roads? The Roman war chariots formed the initial ruts, which everyone else you had to match in fear of destroying their wagon wheels. Since the chariots were made for Imperial Rome, they were all alike in the manner of their wheel spacing. The United States standard railway gauge of 4 feet 8.5 inches or 143 centimetres is derived from the original specifications for an Imperial Roman War chariot. And bureaucrats live forever. So the next time you're handed a specification and told it's always been done that way and wonder what horse's ass came up with that, you'll be exactly right because the Imperial Rome chariots were made just wide enough to accommodate the back ends of two war horses. Now here's the twist of the story. The American space shuttle has two booster rockets attached to the sides of the main fuel tank. They are solid rocket boosters or SRBs. The SRBs are made by Theocol at their factory in Utah. The engineers who decide the SRBs would have preferred to make them a little fatter, but the SRBs had to be shipped by train from the factory in Utah to the launch site. The railroad line from the factory happens to run through a tunnel in the mountains. The SRBs had to fit through that tunnel. The tunnel is slightly wider than the railroad track. And the railroad track, as you now know, is about the width of two horses behind. So, a major space shuttle design feature of what is arguably the world's most advanced transportation system was determined over 2,000 years ago by the width of a horse's backside. Hey.